The next step in our course design is to add additional components such as uh, lecture one, uh, resources, assignments, and uh, so on. So before we do anything further, we are going to modify. So instead of topic one, we are going to change this so it has the date for that specific session and a description of what we are covering for this week. So what it says here, use default section name. Default section name is going to be topic one. We're going to check that out and say September 3rd, 2012 or 2013. And then under summary, we could include in there what we are going to cover this week. You could choose to have this in different colors, make it bold and uh, format it differently, and then choose save changes. And at this time, we are ready to post the first lecture. So to post the lecture, there are a couple ways of doing it. Is uh, One of the ways is to drag and drop the PowerPoint into the course here, like we demonstrated with the syllabus or go the process step by step by using the add a resource. So let's use the drag and drop first. So while we have the course page open, open also your files, wherever you have your files. Then just drag the PowerPoint directly into that day's lecture. If you want to edit the title in any way, you can click on edit title and then hit enter. The lecture at this point has been posted. The other way to post the lecture is by clicking on add an activity or resource, choose a file, click on add, give it a descriptive name. You can put a description if you choose to. If you put a description, you can choose to post it also on the front page. And then under content, click on add to add the files or drag the files here. Then we can choose to upload the file from the computer or from recent files or private files. So in this case, I'm going to use from computer. Then choose a file, browse to wherever you have your files, and then pick the file that you want to upload. Click on upload this file. And on the display type, uh, usually it's best to choose force download or choose open, one of the two options here. And then click on save and return to the course. Notice this is the second option. The first uh, one was just simply drag and drop this first one here. So note uh, the drag and drop, it's much easier to use. Once you have those resources posted, you can choose to indent them a different way if you'd prefer to. So that's how you post a resource. You can post also PDF files if you'd prefer, the same way, exactly the same way. So if we go here under in uh, Word format, you can simply drag and drop it to the course. 